previously on the Youth Edition. 98 pace, cuts back inside on it to Mite. Finishes! Fucking come on, Cheltenham! Booyah! Big to Mite does it, JDT special. Well, you think you would have had the pace to whip past the defender and decided to come back. Get off the table. Welcome back to the Youth Edition with Cheltenham Town, FIFA 17. We currently sit in third position, uh, deeply entrenched in the EFL Cup. We've got the second leg uh, of the semi-finals coming up in this episode against Arsenal, which we are 2-2 on aggregate. Uh, we also have the FA Cup uh, continuation coming through in this episode. I think we've got Wolverhampton in the next round. Um, the transfer window will wrap up, and uh, then we'll have a third game, which I believe is against uh, Scunthorpe United at the bottom of the table. Just the one signing for us at the moment, uh, the backup striker in uh, Vina. We may get a look at him today. But uh, yeah, let's just get into this one. Uh, no player upgrades for this episode. Um, we may do Vina at the end. I'm not too sure. We'll see how we go for time. Let's get into it. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is the Emirates Stadium. It is Arsenal. It is the semi-finals of the EFL Cup. It is 2-2 on aggregate. There is no question we have to win this game if we want to progress through to the final. A draw won't cut it with Arsenal getting the two away goals against us. So uh, all we can do here is get out here, get the victory, and get to the final. But you know that's not going to be easy playing at the Emirates against a quality side like Arsenal. They are... Uh, Absolutely flying at the moment. And uh, Danny Welbeck, well, he will definitely be someone that we're going to have to watch out for. The last couple of weeks of in-game action have sort of seen our back line being a little bit exposed. And uh, teams with pace have been slipping through. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that, especially Danny Welbeck. He's got a bit of pace about him. But here's the team that they've put out. Uh, it's looking fairly, very, very strong. And uh, Kovalenko was a bit of an issue for us in the last game. Sanchez and Campbell with some pace on the wings. And uh, it should be a very, very tough encounter. But to me, Tate, we'll be looking to take this team, grabbing Cheltenham by the scruff of the neck and carrying them through to a final. <sighs> Come on, boys. The ball from Suarez. Slips one through. It's Costa. Yeah, oh, taken down in the box and a penalty from Gabriel. Takes Costa down in the eighth minute. Well, fucking send him off. See you later. Fucking bye-bye. Arsenal down to 10 men. Gabriel with a rash challenge. Oh, he's got the captain's armband as well. Well, that's a way to show what to do with your club, you idiot. And Costa has gone down quicker than a $2 hooker in the box. Why are they giving Diallo the fucking penalties? I have no idea. It's going to be Termite here against Chesney. And he puts it in. We've got the lead, and that's what we wanted. It's 1-0 Cheltenham at the Emirates. 3-2 on aggregate. Tamite does it. Chesney doesn't move. A class little finish there from Big JDT. And what the fuck was Gabriel thinking? Well, this game's just been turned on its head early. We thought it was going to be tough, but uh, you know they're still going to come at us with 10 men. All we really need to do now is sit back and defend for another 80 minutes. Oh, Phil Mulholland just destroying it at the back. He goes on a bit of a run here. Whips it off to Alfie Alexander. Slips it off to Costa. Costa's got the run. That's a great ball, but Tomite wasn't quick enough. Oh, Alfie Alexander starting to get back into that blistering form that he had before he went on loan to West Brom. Just being defensive unit. Here's Cooper. Whips through the middle. Went looking for Tomite. It doesn't matter. Costa's there. Tomite goes back. Costa got it hit with. We've got a free kick in a pretty good area. And the chance for Tomite probably to step up here. Why are they giving Diallo everything? They can fuck right off. I'm going to have to change that. It's going to be Tomite. Oh, he's done it! Gets it in, son! JDT leading from the front. It's 2-0 Cheltenham. Tomite with a free kick. Oh, just whipped it over the wall past Chesney. And it's 2-0 Cheltenham. Emirates has been shell-shocked. Get in, son. Yes, lad. Fucking come on. 4-2 on aggregate. 
And so Mate having a field day at the Emirates. Well, there's the whistle for half time. A cracking first half. JDT ripping the fucking head off the snake. And it's 4 2 on aggregate. Corner for Arsenal. They're coming. They're trying to get their way back into the game. They're making changes left, right, and center. Here's Alexis Sanchez. Danny Welbeck back to Sanchez. And an offside call. Tomite. Good ball off to Coops. Passes it forward. Tomite on the burst. Passes it off. Can Costa finish one? Oh my god, he has! He's fucking managed to finish! It's 3 0 Cheltenham. 5 2 on aggregate. Good night, fucking Arsenal. Well, counter attack football worked perfectly there. Costa, very, very lucky. He's just put it straight at Chesney. Chesney a deer in the headlights. And it's 3 0. Cheltenham running riot. Get in, son. Free kick for Arsenal. It's 88 minutes gone. There's no chance of them getting back into this one. They're just looking for some redemption. And look at that. Villa. Costa. Slips it off to the big man, Tamite. He's bleeding forward. He's just got to beat Chesney. Get in! He's fucking done it! That's a hat trick for Tamite. At the Emirates. He's had a fucking field day. 6 2 on aggregate. Took off. Fucking worked his way. Oh, that is brilliant. Dodged, weaved, right. Fucking Muhammad Ali-esque. And he smacked it home. The final punch on Arsenal. And it is 4-0 on the day. What a fucking performance here from Cheltenham. And this is a sign of bigger things to come. A hat-trick for Tabitate. We're going to the final. And there's the whistle. We're going to the EFL Cup final. And a chance for some silverware for Cheltenham. Well, we only had five shots for the game. Tamite had three shots. All of them went in. And uh, fuck me. What a fucking performance from big JDT. And Costa with a 9.6. That is his position. You can't play him up front. But in that cam roll, he is absolutely turning it on. I think we found where we need to play him. All right, here we go. It's Emirates FA Cup time. It's the Wolverhampton Wanderers hosting Cheltenham Town. And uh, the reserves team will roll out today. And uh, Ruben Lucas Vina will start up front in his first game for Cheltenham. Uh, Fista, I know we've got a lot of uh, love and faith for the young lad. But being 57 overall, he does create opportunities. But uh, he does run out of legs. So uh, he will start on the bench today. And hopefully in a couple of seasons time, he is fit and ready to rock and roll. But, uh, I just felt we needed a little bit of extra strength. The reserves team's been a bit hit and miss. Uh, Zaki Anwar back from injury. We're just going to ease him back into it. He's going to start in the cam roll. Uh, there is the transfer fee of 1.9 million. I think that's fairly reasonable. I'm pretty sure he's the David Villa regen. Um, so, uh, yeah, hopefully he can do something today. He's got electrifying pace. A few of his other stats need a little bit of work. But, uh, yeah, let's hope he can do the job for us today. Uh, there is the Wolverhampton side that we don't really give two shits about. Hopefully, we can just put them back on the bus and send them home. Zaki Anwar immediately getting involved to Barbier. Barbier in on goal. He shoots and a good save. Oh, fuck. Well, Wolverhampton have already had about six shots here in the opening ten minutes. It had been coming. There was nothing we can do. It's been an absolute onslaught. And uh, that's a pretty well-worked goal. Pretty poor marking there from uh, Laprobot. And Baker obviously caught out on the opposite side. It's 1-0 to Wolverhampton. Oh, Tassa with the steal. And here's Vina. Takes the shot. Oh, cracking strike with the left. Good save. Well, there's half time. Wolverhampton have outplayed us tremendously. Villa. Zaki Anwar. Oh, keeps fighting Zaki. Good ball on. Barbier. Save. Zaki. Oh, what a finish from Zaki Anwar. Back from injury. Oh, and he's gone for the dab as well. Holy shit, Zaki. Settle down, son. You're playing in the reserves at the moment. You're back from injury. And just letting the skipper and manager know, here I am. What a cracking finish from Zaki. Well, he's already letting Costa know he's back. But uh, yeah, it's pretty hard to displace Costa. 
for what he's been doing in, in the ones lately. But Zaki with the dab. Oh no. Disgraceful. Zaki Anwar, unbelievable ball control. And here's Barbier down the wing. He's running out of legs though. Needs a bit of help. He's back to Ivanov. Off to Tasev. Inside, here's Zaki Anwar again. Takes the game on. It's a Villa. Slips it off. Vina, is he onside? No, he isn't. Thought he'd scored his first goal for the club, but he is offside. There's Munn. Thoreau. Down the line. Here he is. Vina. Why have we brought him in? Oh, cracking save. Well, we've brought in the secondary striker to try and make amends, but that was a really good save. Oh, Rowe, big challenge. Down the line. Zaki Anwar. He's playing a full game here. Cuts back in on it. Can he get the cross? He can. Who's there? No one. It's fallen out to Tasev, who laces one out. What a poor, poor strike. Zaki Anwar. There's Munn. Works his way through traffic. Gets the ball back. Slips it off. It's Big Freddy. Big Freddy lines up. Oh, save. And there's the whistle. Well, 10 shots to four. We probably deserve to come back and win that one. The second half was incredible. But uh, there will be a replay. All right, we've got a loan offer here for Jeremy Baldry. Um, he's got dreadlocks in his picture, but he's actually bald as a badger. Uh, well, the whole fucking 50-year-old receding hairline. Uh, he's not really getting a lot of game time. Very, very hit and miss. Um, but yeah, I think we'll send him out on loan. Uh, because we've brought in Lucas Vina. I'm just trying to keep that squad rotation happening and keeping everyone happy. And if they're not really going to get game time in the twos, then they probably need to go out on loan for a little bit. So, uh, yep, we'll accept that. He can head off to Port Vale. Well, Liverpool have come in with 37.5 million for JDT. You can go and fuck yourselves. Got a transfer offer for Alfie Alexander of 11 million. We're going to reject all offers on that one. All right, I've got a short-term loan offer here for Larry White. He's not really getting the game time. We haven't really had the opportunity to put any training into him. So a short-term loan at Cork City will probably do him well. He'll probably get some first-team football there in the Irish League. All right, we've got a U Squad monthly report. The transfer window is shut, so only the one signing for us. Uh, and we've sent a couple out on loan. Now, Ellis Bartos is a 73 to 93. Derek Fanning is a 70 to 90. Andrew Connolly, 77 to 94. Niall White, 75 to 93. Niall Kelly, 80 to 94. Harvey Alexander, 78 to 84. We're going to release him. Uh, Dennis Banks, 80 to 90. Um, six foot five CDM would have been handy, but uh, the low value and the low potential. We'll give him another month. And uh, Benjamin Falker, 83 to 89 now. All right, so the final scout report back from Slovakia. And there wasn't really anything worth picking up. Uh, there's one player that um, I did have a look at, and that is Dalibor Biskup. Uh, 70 to 94 potential. We've only scouted him for one month. His overall is probably not the best, but uh, we'll sign him up anyway. Give him a month or two in the Youth Academy and uh, see how he goes there. All right, final scout report from the Republic of Ireland. And uh, there is one player that we are going to sign into the Youth Academy, and that is Ender Bowen. 48 to 66 overall, 77 to 94. He has a $350,000 evaluation, so he will be making his way into our Youth Academy. All right, we're in Switzerland. It's the final month here, and uh, there's no real decent goalkeepers here, unfortunately, so we won't be making any. Uh, Jan Fister. Oh, do we really want to get another Fister into the club? Nah, I'm going to pass. Sorry, mate. Your brother's gone and your other brother's still with us. But, uh, yeah, you're not going to make the cut. All right, it's time to send the scouts out again. So we'll uh, go to our little uh, list. And I hit the random button. And it is number 36. Okay, 36 comes from Eris. And he said New Zealand for a physically strong player. All right, time to go to the next one. And the random generator gives me number eight. Okay, number eight comes from uh, Martin Kua, and he said the Netherlands. He didn't say anywhere in particular, so we're just gonna go for any player. And finally, the last one, we hit the button. Number 63, this comes from uh, Beast Pie 118 and he wants Russia for a winger. 
Alright, there'll just be two games in today's episode. Obviously, uh, Youth Academy stuff, end of the transfer window. We want to do a decent squad report so you can see how the squad's looking for moving through for the second half of the season. So, Aiden Baker is up to a 75 now. Obviously, we put extensive training into him. So, he's pretty much at the level uh, of a Price, a Longcar, a Taylor, and he's been doing a very exceptional job. 19 clean sheets. He does have the potential to be special. Larry White, we've just sent out on loan. He's gone up three on his own, but uh, yeah, he's got a lot of growing to do. Lapravet is a 68, gone up two. He is showing great potential and been doing a pretty good job in the reserves team. Sean Jones is a 73, and he hasn't grown at all this season. So uh, we probably need to look for another decent right back moving forward into the Premier League. Um, but we'll see what we can do probably in the next transfer window. Uh, center back roles, we've got Borges Fernandez. He's a 70, gone up two, playing in the reserves. Uh, Alexi is a 71. Uh, he's unhappy with his game time, but you're going to have to deal with it, mate, because uh, you're not really the best centre-back. You've served us well, but yeah. Uh, Big Phil Mulholland, 80. He's gone up too, still growing nicely. And his partner is Cedrum Fatoza, uh, 73, gone up one. So, uh, yeah, he's growing nicely. Yep, yeah, that's good. Uh, left back, we've got Ivanov, who plays in the reserve team. He's 25 already. Uh, so probably the oldest man at the club and he stopped growing. He's unhappy with his game time. That's too fucking bad because Pearson's doing a better job. We've got Albert Brandt. He's got the potential to be special. Uh, he's up to a 69 now and uh, he's gone up 10. So I'll have to see if that covers the objective that we need to do. Uh, Jake Pearson is a 69. He's gone up too. He's been unbelievable at left back for his rating. Um, I'm really happy with how he's coming along. I haven't put any training into him. He's just, yeah, just solid. CDM, Tassev is a 72 now. He's gone up one, unhappy with his game time. Too bloody bad. Uh, Chunso Rope, 66. He's gone up seven. Uh, needs to grow on his physicals a bit more, but uh, potential to be special. He's only 16. That should catch up. Carlos Henrico Alfaro Suarez is a 73. He's gone up one, doing a pretty good role there in the first team. Uh, Ramiro Avila, 76, gone up four. Has the potential to be special, but doesn't really show it at the moment. But it may be a, a bit of a case of, uh, yeah, we've had players in the past that have been like this. If you go back to the Newport County series, our scout future star, Alexander Arnos, was, you know, pretty hit and miss until we hit the Premier League. And then he came into his own. So hopefully Avila is waiting for that. At the moment, he's sitting back in the second and uh, coming on as a reserve in the ones. But uh, yeah, just, just there's something just not quite right with him just yet. Uh, hopefully that changes uh, in the next couple of seasons. Elfie Cooper's an 80, gone up too. He's unhappy with his game time, even though he's fucking playing throughout every game. So uh, I'm not sure what his fucking problem is. Uh, maybe we need to offer him a bit more money. Leonardo Kuschlat, 66, gone up three. Does a pretty standard role there in the twos. Simon Luda. Oh, good. Why is it every time I do one of these? I start yawning. 73, gone up two. Um, yeah, I don't know. He, he hasn't felt as decent this season, but uh, definitely does a job for us in the twos. Jordy Fires at 71, gone up one, showing great potential. And uh, yeah, he's growing okay. Probably needs a few more games under his belt. Uh, Jean-Michael Diallo is an 81. He's gone up too and does a very fitting role there in that centre midfield position. Zaki Anwar, 69, gone up three. Now he feels like a probably 72, 73 style player. Uh, 83 finishing, that's just crazy from Zaki. Um, but yeah, there's just a few little bits and bobs that let him down. He goes quiet, he goes missing and then all of a sudden he pops up. So he's a bit more of an X-factor player. And well, I think he's probably going to sit back in the twos for a little bit now. Um, maybe coming on the bench in the ones. Jeremy Bowdry, we've just sent him out on loan to Port Vale. He's got a lot of growing to do if he wants to continue at Cheltenham. Uh, Barbie has a 65, gone up four. Showing great potential. Plays like a 75. There's no doubt about it. He is instrumental in the twos. Can't see him pushing into the ones just yet. But uh, yeah, he's going along nicely. Alfie Alexander, 78, gone up two, showing great potential. Um, yeah, he's come back from West Brom and doing the job that's required of him there on the left-hand side. Uh, Tekkers is a 71, had gone up three, and playing in the twos, doing an incredible job. That hat-trick that he got was just crazy. 
Uh, Dosu's a 67 now, going up four. This kid probably needs maybe a loan spell or something. He feels a little bit weird when we do play with him. Uh, probably need a few of his stats to come around and help that out, but potentially special. You pretty much don't want to get rid of him just yet. You want to allow him to develop and uh, see how he is at the latest stages of the career mode. Hanyon Munt, 64, gone up four. This kid feels cracking already, so uh, yeah, it's it's interesting. Same sort of rating as Dosu, but uh, Hanyong Man feels a lot better on the ball. For some reason, his picture, he is a black man, but he's uh, a white South Korean in the game. So, uh, yeah, good on you, EA. Herve Millet, 65, gone up one. He is back in 12 days from a sprained knee. Uh, he's been tearing it up when he does come on. So, uh, yeah, he's a good player. Ivan Costa, 71, gone up two. Now, I've written this guy off. Couldn't finish to save his life. We were playing him as a striker, it was all wrong. We've moved him to that cam roll, and uh, he is doing fucking incredible things. Eight assists for Ivan Costa. Oscar Freddy, Big Freddy, 61, gone up three. He doesn't have a potential. He's not going to even grow that high. Uh, maybe next season, uh, up to you guys, we could try and loan glitch him out to get him a little bit of potential because uh, he's a bit of a fan favorite. And uh, he does perform when he does come on, but that's purely down to his speed out on that wing. Ruben Lucas Vina, we've just brought this guy in from Real Salt Lake City for 1.9. Uh, haven't had a really good look at him, but uh, having a look, he's got the acro acrobat specialty. Three star, three star from Spain and five foot ten. And uh, you can see there, I just basically brought him in for that pace just to try and get me that uh, sort of Tamite feel uh, to see if he can punch through the defense in the twos. Samuel Fister is a 58. He's gone up one. I have loan listed him. I feel he probably needs some game time, which we may not be able to offer him as much, but he is uh, coming along nicely. He's picked himself up two goals. And uh, big JDT, 83 gone up one. 99 acceleration, 98 sprint speed. Um, 17 goals now across all competitions. We take the European Shield out because we don't really care about that. And seven assists. That's just an unbelievable return from Big JDT. He's so quick. He's so fucking quick. For, for what is he? Six foot three. High, high work rates. Speedster, dribbler, distance shooter. And, uh, I mean, what more could you ask? He's almost, he's almost. I'm not going to say it yet, but he's almost at Kone fucking status. Uh, we'll see how he goes if we get into the Premier League. But that is the full squad report. All right, here is Ruben Lucas Vina. Uh, if you want to make any changes to his kit, uh, he's taken that number nine jersey. Uh, let me know in the comments, and we'll get that happening in a future episode. And that's where we're going to wrap this one up today. No games in the championship, so we still sit in third position. Uh, we've got a game in hand on Aston Villa, so we could possibly... We need to push for Premier League in this second half of the season. There's no question about it. We want a top two finish. Uh, Newcastle United have a fairly extensive lead. You can't see them being pulled back too much, but stranger things have happened. But that's where we're going to leave it today. Hopefully you're enjoying the series. We'll see you in the next episode. I'm Spryan DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, and you have a good one.